Hello everyone. I am Dr. Prashant Saxena. I am director and head of pulmonology at Fortis Hospital Vasant Kunj, New Delhi. Today we are going to discuss about chronic respiratory conditions like asthma. And we will be discussing about how to manage flare-ups of asthma during the seasonal changes, especially from monsoon to winters. So, what happens whenever there is a seasonal change? We must remember that asthma is a chronic non-communicable disease and it's an inflammatory disease which means that there is an inflammation which persists in your lungs and airways at any point of time. So what happens whenever there is a flare up of asthma, the symptoms of wheezing or shortness of breath come up. So what causes these flare ups? These flare ups can be due to seasonal changes. In fact, seasonal exacerbation of asthma is quite common. For example, in the winter season, there are molds in the environment which can trigger your asthma. In the summer season, there is pollen and pollution which can trigger your asthma. In the spring season, there are pollens which can trigger your asthma. So we have to be careful that not only temperature change during the season, but also the environmental change is very important. So whenever the winter season is approaching, asthmatics should remember very importantly that there is a chance you could develop an exacerbation of asthma or a flare up of asthma. So please remember that one should visit their doctor prior to the beginning of the winter season and prepare their own asthma action plan because every patient is different every patient has to be managed differently usually there are two kinds of medicines in asthma which is a regular medicine or a mentorous medicine and the other is a emergency medicine please remember that emergency medicine or the emergency inhalers are only for emergency use regular medicines have to be taken every day and you should not forget to take the regular medicines. Apart from this, one should avoid sudden weather change during the winters, moving from hot to cold zones, and also avoid traveling to humid areas or traveling to areas where there is a lot of pollution and smoke. Winter comes with the common triggers of asthma like mold, dampness, dust, and mite exposure. Apart from this, we must remember that cold air itself is a common trigger for asthma which can cause spasm of the airways. Not only this, during the winter seasons we have infections like flu and other viruses which are quite common and which can trigger asthma. So we have to take every precaution to avoid these triggers. So how to manage asthma during winters? See, we should remember that apart from avoidance of triggers and avoidance of cold exposure, remaining away from people who are coughing and sneezing, we must remember that if we have asthma, inhalational therapy is the cornerstone for management of asthma. And by inhalational therapy, I mean inhalers. You should not forget that inhalers are a must to prevent asthma attacks and to manage the asthma. Inhalers are very easy to take. Once you learn how to take the inhalers, you can take the inhalers easily. Inhalers have a fixed dose combination so that you get the adequate dose at the right time and they are very handy you can carry them along with you. So don't forget that inhaler should always be there with you for managing your asthma. Apart from inhaler therapy, asthma action plan is very important. Please remember that asthma action plan is individualized, which means your doctor will assess you, examine you, take your history, and then plan your medicines and plan your SOS medicines accordingly. Please remember that apart from your usual inhaler or inhalational therapy, there are few important things which you should remember during the winter seasons. For example, one should take the flu shot every year, which can prevent you from developing serious flu. Apart from this, if you are going to the overcrowded area, first of all, please avoid going to crowded or polluted areas. If you have to go out, then you can wear your face mask. Once you are coming home, please wash your hands regularly. And whenever you are outside in meetings or meeting people, don't forget to sanitize your hands regularly. Drink water regularly because drinking a lot of water makes an improvement in your lung health. Then we should remember that we have to follow basic etiquettes of environmental cleaning and environmental hygiene. If you have asthma, please always carry a peak flow meter at home because you can measure your peak flow values at home in the morning or in the evening and with the change in the peak flow meter readings, you can predict that you are having a decline in lung function and you can manage your asthma flare-ups more effectively. Breathing exercises can be done at home. Simple breathing exercises like deep breathing exercises are very important to manage asthma. Apart from this, if your health permits, you can do yoga or light exercise 
which is very vital to manage your lung health.